Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you along to Trader Joe's. I've got a sleeping baby back here, so this should go well. <laughs> but we love Trader Joe's and we haven't been in so long. And I actually, I was gonna bring the Yeti this morning and I totally forgot. So I'm gonna have to buy a freezer bag while I'm there. We don't live close to a Trader Joe's. The closest one is probably, this is at least 45 minutes, I would say, from our house. So I'm gonna get a freezer bag and hopefully most of our stuff that we love from the freezer section will make it home. Okay, can somebody tell me why I'm the worst driver ever? I'm not like, like, how do you explain it? I know how to drive, but I, this is the second, so I've, no, I've already got around twice. This is the third time I'm trying to pull into Trader Joe's and I have missed the entrance and it's not like it's hard. There's like three of them here. And if you pull in the last one, you, any of them will get you into Trader Joe's, but the last one will put you in like right in front of Trader Joe's. Anyways, here we are sitting in the turn lane for the third time. Somebody help me. Okay, also extremely quick side note. I get that the pedestrian crosswalk is there because they're supposed to be able to go and traffic should stop for them to go. What I don't get is taking your life into your own hands and just walking out there. Like, car's gotta stop, I'm just gonna go. No, you should pause and make sure that the traffic knows to stop. Walking out, just just going is stupid. There's your PSA for today. That's dumb, don't do it anymore. So here's everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's. I was actually gonna film more in the store, but my phone died, so that was fun. Anyways, I'm just gonna start over here. This is in no particular order. I do need to hurry so I can get all the cold stuff in the freezer, but I picked up this bread and I'd never gotten it before, but it's called the Tuscan Pain Bread, a stone hearth oven baked classic Italian bread. Honestly, it just looked really delicious. If you can kind of see the slices in there, it looked so good. So I feel like that would be really good with some Honestly, just toasted with some butter. <laughs> All right, and the next thing I got were these habanero lime flour tortillas. We love tacos. We love um, any kind of Mexican food, really. I just thought this would be really good to try. I've never tried these before. So these aren't one of our normal staples that I would go for, but they looked so good. And I picked up a bag of this organic pasta. It's the tri-colored. Um, it's kind of a different shape than I normally get, but I wanted to make some pasta salad for the kids lunches this week so I picked that up I got two boxes of our favorite organic jasmine rice these are in frozen bags and then you microwave them for three minutes and it says microwave perfect in three minutes and it really is it is so good and I love keeping this on hand as a quick side dish or you know if I'm making um, something that I feel like it has like a sauce or something to it I'll throw it over rice and I don't have to worry about pulling out another pan or anything like that and it's ready to go. It's really good. These next two items, these, the three seed sweet potato crackers, say that five times fast, and these cheese sticks. I actually picked these up just because we love having a charcuterie board. Um, most of the time on Sunday afternoons actually, or just during the week when we're watching the game or watching uh, the gymnastics meet, we love to have stuff like this and I just picked them up to go on our board. They were really neat. I've never tried these before and I thought that I had had these before, but I realized the ones that I had before were just the regular sweet potato crackers and these are the three seed sweet potato crackers. So I hope they're good, they look good. I also just picked up a package of these hash browns, Jessica O'Donohue. There's a couple of things in here that I got because she recommended them, but I got these because she sometimes makes these and I thought, why don't I have these in my freezer? That's so smart, I can always just throw those together and I know my kids will eat them. Also, if it looks like this has been opened, it's because I already got one out. Um, vanilla meringues. I haven't had these since I was a kid. My mom used to pick them up from Publix, and I have never saw them again now that I'm an adult. And I saw these today, and I bought them just because I wanted them. <laughs> They're really good. All right, so these, have you have never tried these? Oh, my gosh. So... You do have to kind of plan if you want to eat them. It says just proof overnight and then bake. I've gotten these once before and they taste exactly, actually, they're actually better just because they're, you know, fresh. 
but they taste exactly like the ones that you get from Starbucks. And so I think there's four in here. Put them out the night before and in the morning just stick them in the oven and they are so delicious. Um, and so my kids actually don't like these and that's such a shocker, but I'll definitely make one for myself every now and then as a treat. And they're frozen so I don't have to worry about them going bad quickly. I also picked up these French macaroons. This is the first time that I've saw just the chocolate and vanilla. So I picked these up because I don't like all the other funny flavors and I don't think my daughter does either. So we got these um, because I know we'll eat the chocolate and the vanilla ones. Next, I got three boxes of the Trader Joe's milk chocolate caramel crunch medallions and three boxes of the peanut butter roundels. These just both looked really good and I actually got these. I'm gonna put them in a little thing for each of my kids teachers for Valentine's Day. I did the same thing kind of at Christmas with different Trader Joe's products that were all fun little sweet treats and so I picked them up again for Valentine's Day. I also picked up some Gone Berry Crazy dark chocolate covered strawberry pieces. I thought those sounded delicious. They're frozen so it sounded really good. I picked up some organic apple strawberry fruit sauce crushers. My daughter really loves these. I used to buy them in bulk, but she ate them so fast that now I just get um, a few at a time. And so hopefully she won't actually, you know, tear through them if we know we only have, you know, four of them. I don't know. That probably, they'll just probably be gone in a day to be honest. <laughs> I also picked up these organic chocolate chip chewy granola bars. My kids absolutely love these and I like keeping them in my purse in case one of them has a meltdown. You can just be like, here, get you a granola bar. I picked up two bags of this roasted corn. This is so, 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 so good. I like making this. I'll put it in a pot and heat it up and then drain it, add a little bit of mayonnaise and cotija cheese. Oh my goodness, you should definitely try this. It's very good. Also, we love the mandarin orange chicken. This is delicious. Honestly, to me, it's better than anything you can even get um, at a restaurant. This is so, so good. Picks up roasted garlic hummus. I really love any of their hummus, but the roasted garlic one is my favorite. Normally, I don't pick up um, their meals like this. However, I really needed something for dinner tonight, and I saw this and thought it was just different enough, but maybe my kids would actually eat it. So we'll see. It's chicken enchiladas verde with chicken. Do you like how I did that? It's chicken enchiladas verde with white chicken meat, Monterey Jack cheese, and cotija cheese with a mildly spicy green chili sauce. So we'll see how those are. I'm going to make those tonight. Also picked up some of these fruit leather buttons. We've never tried these, so I only got two of them, and I think they were only like 50 or 60 cents. Um, so I see I got strawberry mango and grape mango, and those are organic as well. I picked up some organic um, strawberry smoothies. These are very similar to me. Um, even just looking at the packaging, they look like the... Um, Oh gosh, you guys, what is that brand? Stonyfield Farms, I think, the organic brand. They're very similar, except these were much cheaper than those. Also picked up a garlic salt grinder. If you've never tried this, oh my gosh, it's so good. So sea salt, roasted garlic, onion, and parsley in a grinder. So all the pieces are already in there and it grinds it for you fresh. And it's really, really delicious. I already went through one of these, so that's my second one. I was not looking to buy these, but I saw them and thought, I can't not. These are milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. I mean, do I really have to explain why I bought these? Because that just sounds so good. <laughs> also picked up a box of Jojo Slims. We really like the regular Jojo's cookies that are kind of like Oreos. And these are slim ones. It says slimmer and crispier cousin of a Jojo. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So pick those up. I also picked up two of these organic stock made with free range chicken. These were $2.29, I want to say. So I thought that was a really good price for organic. So I picked up two of those. I also picked up some shelf-stable whipping cream. I've never saw this before. I didn't even know it was a thing. The ingredients are only cream and whatever that is. And I thought this would be so great because I feel like I always end up needing whipping cream or heavy cream when I don't have it. And so this is shelf stable. I can throw it in my pantry and leave it there. It's good until June and I'll definitely end up using it before then I know. So I just thought that was really convenient. And I think it was maybe two bucks. I picked up two bags of these planting chips and oh, these are so, so good. I've actually made my own before. And then when I found these at Trader Joe's, these are my favorite ones. They're just really good. If you never had them, 
Um, I can't really figure out, I don't know how to describe them. It's like a potato chip, to be honest. I would just try it. You can get the plantains yourself. They look like green bananas and slice them and um, then cook them in the oven and make your own chips, which I've done plenty of times. But these are a really good option. Very convenient, obviously, and they taste really good. All right, then I just picked up some shredded green cabbage. I love this on top of anything I have that's like Mexican food, or I like to make slaw with it. I think I've said that in a haul before, but so I figured with the chicken enchilada spare day, I can put some on top, um, or if I make some tacos later in the week, I can use that. Also picked this up, which, give me a minute, Cruciferous Crunch Collection, maybe, I think that's what they're going for. Kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. That dressing that Jessica O'Donohue talked about and she made in one of her most recent What's For Dinners, oh my good gravy. I'm going to have to link it below. I've made it so many times, but it was originally to go on a kale salad, um, but I thought it would be really, really good on top of this, so we'll see how that goes. I also picked this up, and I ended up, I picked it up, and I was like, it's only $2.99. I'm buying that. This is such a problem I have. But I got these for my kids' lunches, and these are just kettle cooked potato chips with sea salt, and they're six snack bags. Like I said, it was only $2.99, which I don't know. It, that felt like it was a deal. I don't know. I was in a daze just in Trader Joe's land. So I picked up these crunchy curls. They're a tasty lentil and potato snack. A long time ago, I used to get a subscription box that would send you like snack things. And I can't think of the name of it now, what the subscription box was, but I got something very similar to this in that box. And oh my gosh, they're so good. So I got those. And then I picked up some organic white truffle potato chips. And these are so, so good. I got these again because Jessica Donahue said I should get them. And apparently I just listened to whatever she says. So I got these and they are really good. I actually got a second bag that's that's almost gone, to be honest with you. I ate some on the way home. I had a really long drive, okay? So I think the best way I could describe it is maybe like garlic potato chips, something like that. Like I kind of envision if you put this on potato chips... That's maybe what it would be. I'm thinking they're very good. And actually the very last thing that I picked up were some white tulips. These are gorgeous. And this is a huge bundle. I don't know if you can tell how many stems are there, but I picked these up and I, I'm a sucker for flowers. Guys, that's going to do it for today's super quick video. I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye.